I really don't know how to open this house. <laughs> Fabulous. 4175 Greenbush Avenue. Sherman sure 417 Greenbush. Take these spanks off because they're giving me a pooch. This is like normal what we do. Are there cameras here? I'm sure there's like cameras here. You cannot get that now. Hold on. Oh, hi. How are you? Did you see them walk by? We'll hang them here. Mario, right, thank you so okay, much. Bye bye. Bye, thank you. So just say almost 5,000. And the law is 7,900. Ready? Yes. Okay, go. Hello, hello everyone. Happy Friday. It's almost weekend and we are doing this little walkthrough of this incredible property that we currently have listed at 4175. I got it wrong. Right? 4175, I did get it right. Why did I think I got it wrong? So this beautiful south of the boulevard house is a modern stunner. It's a five bedroom, six bath, plus a bonus room, over 5,000 square feet on an almost 7,900 square foot lot. It's it up. Specs, it's damn it. It should be like an account of like just how incompetent I'm, I am. So yeah, I can't wait to show it off. Let's go see it. You know what I just realized? What? You're not recording? None of the lights are open, I'm sorry. Oh, damn. We gotta turn the lights on. <laughs> Welcome. Wait, this is like my exercise for the day. Megs, did you go upstairs? You know, my husband has an assistant whose job is literally to get to the house 30 minutes before he... Just to turn on the lights. There have been houses that it takes 45 minutes just to turn the lights on. <laughs> 45 minutes on, 45 minutes off. That's an hour and a half of your day just to turn on lights. Is that crazy? Oh, someone drink this one. Ew. I have to figure it out. Wait. Damn it. So I'm about to do a walkthrough of the house which I found out to be at first so silly, but then the amount of feedback that I was getting that it was so helpful for those people that couldn't make it for them to be able to witness and see the property of me just running it through, even if it's like speed, out, speed it up, that they really enjoyed watching that. And I guess whenever you put like a personal touch on anything that's just with you walking around videotaping the house, it's a lot more entertaining for other people to watch. Or I guess maybe sometimes they just like to watch my short skirt. <laughs> Either way, you know, whatever gets the exposure to the house. I think it's really funny because I started on my own Instagram account as a joke. I stayed home with my kids for almost three and a half years and I was in my gym clothes and active wear throughout the whole time. And once I got back into a working field, kids went to school, I needed to do something so I just decided to come and help my husband at work a little bit here and there. And I swear I was dressing up like for prom every single day coming to work because I was just so excited to be out of the tennis shoes and activewear scenery. And I just, I literally full on makeup, full on hair. Dennis thought I was completely insane. And he said, he was like, we'll see how long that's gonna last. It actually never stopped. I'm still doing that. I'm still dressing up like crazy, but I love it. You know, it's fun. I think it's fun being a girl and being able to dress up. So wear these fabulous outfits and go to these homes and take pictures started posting them slowly one thing at a time and soon enough my account has outgrown Dennis's account and people were learning who the turn off team was because of my I don't know putting myself out there always I don't know ready <laughs> let's go let's do this. honestly I think this is a great way for people to see the house and watching these like five minute boring videos of like one closet to another versus like a person who's you feeling like you're here and they're giving you a walkthrough and actually pointing out things that you need to see that a lot of people just miss with a basic walkthrough. It's so difficult to be able to like go to every property when you have 15 listings and you have 17 broker opens and 10 open houses every weekend. It's so hard to be able to do and give full attention to every house, which is actually funny because a lot of builders who are friends ultimately will sometimes be upset at me for not coming to their house and if God forbid their house is sitting on the market for more than a week, 
it's my fault because I didn't come in to do a walkthrough. Somehow, it always comes out on me. You know who you are, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> Just kidding! That's it. That's it? Yeah. Now it's time to turn off the lights, get another exercise. They understand that I bring exposure to the house and they understand that by me just showing my face there and doing my pictures and walkthroughs, there's so many more people that are gonna like view the home. So they now understand the value in. Some do definitely request me to be everywhere. Unfortunately, it's hard to do when you're running the internal operation of so many people and you're in charge of money and bills and hiring and firing people and um, just managing marketing and print work and schedules and scheduling all the agents to go to do their own property walkthroughs. It's so hard to just find the time to do it all, especially when you have two kids. And I volunteer for two parents always, and I love doing it. It's so funny, you know? The other day I was talking to girls as I was um, packing Valentine's Day presents for the kids to give to their friends with the little stickers that my Megan designed for me. I'm like, my entire life I looked forward to writing thank you cards and creating little thank you notes for the teachers and putting together little goodie bags and doing all these amazing projects with my kids. Now the time has come and I'm a mom. I can't do it. I'm like, I don't have time. This is so time consuming. This will take me hours to put these stickers on 40 little bags of candies. I'm like, I look forward to this so much. Don't let the teachers see this because then they'll know who's actually writing their thank you notes. But it doesn't matter, it's a thought that counts. Who cares who's writing is on it? And we are locked up upstairs. And now we need to go back to the office to do payroll. All right, are we good? After interviewing like 12 people today and getting as much done as I could, I like ran out of the office to do this walkthrough because I've been so behind on doing them. Well, I'm glad we finally did it. I know. Long overdue. I can't forget my things that I'm hanging. Let's lock, not let the neighbors see it. We'll hide them in my coat. What time is it? It's at three. I have Madeline, girl coming, who I am actually offering a contract to. Finally got a personal assistant. I hope it works out. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my God. We'll see. It's so hard to find people, find good people and quality people that will understand the benefit of being on a team and growth and see that. Oh no! I lost my Spanx. No. <laughs> you can't like plan this. <laughs> as soon as we list the property, we usually do a broker's open where we invite personally a lot of neighbors and a lot of brokers. We have a database of thousands and thousands of agents and we actually get on the phone and a lot of agents that we know could potentially have a buyer for that listing will usually invite for the brokers open. Sometimes we'll even have two brokers open and we'll have them on Tuesday and a Friday. And sometimes we'll do open houses both on a Saturday and Sunday. It depends on what the seller wants and what we think the right approach for the property is. But um, on average, I would say we have about two to three opens per property the first week that we list it on the market. She said it. Whatever she said. <laughs> <laughs> We're listing five new properties, so we're actually gonna have five broker opens on Tuesday. And then we're listing another incredible eight and a half million dollar home in Encino on a street called Academia. And this home is so incredible and stunning. I can't wait to show it off. But um, yeah, the weekend is gonna be close to eight or nine open houses on a Sunday alone. So busy, busy, busy. Next week is gonna be fun. I love you. I love you. I don't know how you do all this, but you do it. Yeah, we got this. And now we're gonna it's show because I have everybody. I have an incredible, incredible team and support behind us all. And without none of them, none of it would have been possible. Did someone throw up in their driveway? <laughs> <laughs>